Hello there. Um, yesterday, or the day before, we learned about the sine curve and the cosine curve. The sine curve, when we're, this x-axis represents radians, and the y-axis represents the value. So at zero radians, which is the same as zero degrees, the value of the sine is zero. So we started at zero, and then when we got to pi over two, which is 90 degrees, the value of the sine is one, and we kept going in that fashion. We generated these values. So the five point pattern for the sine is zero, max, zero, min, zero. Here's the five point pattern, zero, max, zero, min, zero. That's your sine curve. Okay, now your cosine curve, on the other hand, starts at one. The cosine is the x values and the cosine starts at one. So the cosine five point pattern is max zero min zero max. Max zero min zero max. Now, these sine and cosine curves can change. The amplitude can change, the midline can change, the period can change, which is what you saw when you went through the problems. Now what we're gonna do, as opposed to you giving the amplitude, the midline, and the period, you're going to be giving a graph, given a graph, and you're going to write the equation of the graph. So what we're going to do is trig graph discovery. We're going to do levels one and two. Okay, now let's get started. Write the equation of the trigonometric graph. Okay, they're going to give you the basic graph right here. And you can see that it's a sine graph because it starts at zero. So they're already telling you it's a sine. We need to fill in <clears throat> these three values. Okay, the value that goes here is the amplitude. So I look at this one in pink, and I see that it spans one, two, three, four, five, six. So the range is six. So the amp is half of that. The amp is three. So the amplitude is three. Okay, the number that goes, <clears throat> apologize, the number that goes here is the number of cycles from zero to two pi. Okay, now I'm looking from zero to two pi right here. It completes one cycle because it completes one five-point pattern. Zero, max, zero, min, zero, so it completes one cycle. So the number of cycles from zero to two pi is one. And that's your basic, your basic sine and cosine curve complete one cycle from zero to two pi. It completes one cycle because that's zero to 360 or zero to two pi. Okay, now we have one more number to fill in. This number right here is our midline. So let me get another marker, here we go. This number right here is the midline. Now I see that this midline is actually the x-axis. So this thing has a midline of zero. So you're gonna put in those three values, and then you hit try, and then it'll tell you if it's right or wrong. Okay, again, this midline is zero because we're right on the x-axis. Okay, let's do a few more of these. Next one. Here they're giving us the cosine graph. Now they'll always, in dark, they'll always give you your basic cosine graph. So this one goes this is your basic cosine graph from zero to two pi. Okay, now I wanna figure out first, this is the amplitude. So I'm looking at this and it goes from three to negative five. So I see that it has a range of eight. So that means the amp is half of that or four. So that's the number that goes right there, four. The next number right here is the number of cycles from zero to two pi. 
So from 0 right here to 2 pi, this thing goes through one cycle. Because for the cosine, it completes one five-point pattern. Max, zero, min, zero, max. So there's one cycle from zero to two pi. Now this number right here is our midline. Okay, I see that my midline <clears throat> is halfway between the max and the min. So the midline is actually right here at negative 1. So that's the value that you put right there. And it'll always put a plus there, so you have to put the negative 1 right there in the box. Then hit try and see what you get. Okay. Next one. Now we're going to level 2. It's not that much different than level 1. Okay, here we're looking at a sine curve because it does the sine curve pattern starts at 0, 0 max, 0 min, 0, and it ends at 0. So here's our sine curve. Now notice here it goes 0 min, 0 max, 0. So here I've got a sine curve that looks like this. Instead of going to the max first, it goes to the min first. And I also see that it spans 2, or in other words, the range is 2, so that means the amp is 1. But since it goes in the down direction first, I'm going to put negative 1 because it starts by going down. So negative 1. Okay, the next one is the number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi. So I see from 0 to 2 pi, here's 0, it completes one cycle. 0 min, 0 max, 0. So the number of cycles is still 1. Now it's asking for the midline. So the midline is right here at negative 2. So negative 2 is what goes right there. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, we're still working with level 2. Okay, write the equation of the graph. Again, they tell us that this one is a sine, and it is. Here's our basic sine curve. Now here's the new sine curve, and notice that it starts out going up, so it doesn't always start out going reverse, like down, it starts out going up. So let's just see, um, what are we going from? We're going from negative 1 to negative 5. So that means the range is 4. So that means the amplitude of this thing is 2. So 2 goes right here, and it's a positive 2, because it starts out going in the positive direction, 0, max, 0, min, 0. So here's one cycle, one period, of my new sine curve. So the number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi, from 0 to 2 pi, the number of cycles is 1. Now my midline, let's see what that is. Well, it has to be 2 up and 2 down from the um, max and the min, so it's got to be right here. And that puts me at negative 3. Okay, so that's the equation. You'll put that in. And this is the last one I want to do. Okay, this is a cosine curve. So it starts out max, 0, min, 0, max. So it's a cosine curve. But notice this starts out at a min, and then it ends at a min. So it's kind of the mirror image. So this thing goes like this. Okay, now let's figure this out. Let's see, we go from here to here. So the range is 2. Oops, range is 2. So that means the amplitude is 1, but 
since it starts at a min instead of at a max, the normal curve starts at a max, not the normal curve, the, the standard cosine curve starts at a max. But since this one starts at a min, it's going to be negative 1. It's kind of like the flip of, I hate to get too much on here, but let me see if I can show you this. Um, it's kind of like taking this guy which is the reverse of this one and it's just taking this orange thing and moving it up. So we're gonna start at a negative one. Geez, this is starting to look like a DNA thing. Okay, so negative one because we're starting at a min for the cosine. Okay, now this is still the number of periods from, or the number of cycles from 0 to 2 pi. And again, you can see that it just does 1 from 0 to 2 pi. We got one cycle in there. And of course, the last one, the last value here is our midline. So my midline is right through there at, what are we at, positive 3. Okay. Now here you can even see more clearly, if you ignore this, and this is the um, new sort of x-axis, you can see that the cosine starts at the negative one and then goes up, as opposed to starting at the positive one and then going down. Okay, so that's why that's negative one. Okay, so work with that. Um, I'm gonna have you do six problems of each. We'll do six of level one and six of level two. Okay, that should do it. Thanks everybody, bye bye.